Hey YouTube, it's I See You, and today I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about jailbreaking. More specifically, the upcoming iOS 7 through 7.0.2 untethered jailbreak from the evaders. Now since my last jailbreak update video, I've received quite a few requests to make a new one, just letting you guys know what's happening on the jailbreak scene, keeping you guys completely up to date, and again, providing you with the latest on the untethered iOS 7 jailbreak. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. Now some of the topics that I may cover will overlap my previous video, However, there are quite a number of interesting and crucial bits of news that I won't go over in this video because I've already made videos discussing them. So if you want to watch any of my previous jailbreak update videos and you're on the desktop version of YouTube, just be sure to click one of the annotations on the screen now. All right, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this by discussing what is unquestionably one of the biggest jailbreak updates in quite some time. So genius hacker Planet Being of the Evader sent an update to his followers on Twitter, and it seems as though the public will have a jailbreak for 7.0.2 and iOS 7 in general sooner than initial predictions and estimates. So like with evasion for iOS 6 through 6.1.2, the evaders will once again save the day by releasing a utility to jailbreak iOS 7.0.2. Now once the whirlwind of news and updates regarding Apple's new iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C smartphones, iOS 7, 7.0.1, and 7.0.2 subsided, Planet Being felt it fit to update his followers on development progress of the iOS 7 jailbreak. So as you can see in the tweet that's embedded right here, the evaders may have all they need to complete the next jailbreak, although Planet Being isn't certain. Now this update did come earlier this month, and obviously the team's made progress since then, which I will discuss when going over some later news. Now this is definitely related, so various reports have propagated recently suggesting that Apple will issue a new update to correct various iMessage difficulties and just overall bugs in general in iOS 7. Now if the company decides to release iOS 7.0.3, there's a strong possibility that the firmware will be jailbreakable via the Evader's upcoming tool, especially if Apple releases 7.0.3 prior to when the Evaders issue the jailbreak. Alright, moving on, let's go ahead and discuss the next topic. So with the the evaders working diligently and tirelessly on the upcoming iOS 7 and 7.0.2 jailbreak utility, it's safe to say at this point most of you have pondered the tool's release date. While all members of the evaders have declined the notion of providing an official target date or time frame, like I said before, the team has all they need to surgically complete development on the next untethered iOS 7.0.2 jailbreak in what will hopefully be a matter of weeks. Now, in spite of the fact that the public isn't aware of any potential release plans, from this point on, it certainly won't take the team as long as the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 evasion jailbreak did. As the team's been stockpiling valuable and crucial vulnerabilities in Apple's own iOS code for months now. So following Planet Being's update, which I just discussed prior to this article, Pod2G, another renowned member of the evaders, reminded the public that the group doesn't know if and when they'll encounter potential setbacks. So while having completed most, if not all, of the countless hours of preliminary work required to create create a jailbreak, the team still needs to compile a pre-release utility and run said early jailbreak tool through numerous tests on all devices supported by iOS 7. Now like I said in the most recent episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors, several credible sources, including one with a 100% accuracy rate, confirmed Apple's upcoming iPad 5 and iPad Mini 2 unveiling event will be held on October 22nd. Now with the evaders having confirmed that, again, they may have all of the pieces at this point for the untethered iOS 7 through 7.0.2 utility, the new iPad models will still affect jailbreak development. So in the past, the evaders and previous groups, including the once prominent Chronic Dev team, have held off on releasing new jailbreak utilities until Apple releases the company's latest round of iDevices. Now this method of waiting for the opportune moment allows developers to include support for all of Apple's latest devices, as releasing a jailbreak tool too early would certainly result in Apple patching the vulnerabilities used prior to releasing new devices, which would be the latest iPad models in this instance. So instead of rushing to release a utility, which certainly could be done, the evaders will strategically wait until Apple releases the iPad 5 and the iPad mini 2, both of which will be unveiled on October 22nd. Now this leads into the last article of interest. With the somewhat recent news regarding the evaders having everything the team needs to complete the jailbreak 7.0.2 utility, which will likely include support for the soon-to-be-released iOS 7.0.3 firmware, the anticipation amongst jailbreak enthusiasts across the globe couldn't be higher. The evaders are, without a doubt, working tirelessly on development of the next untethered 7.0.2 jailbreak in somewhat of a stealth mode as none of the members have publicized their recent progress. So the evaders, the team who 
brought us the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 untethered jailbreak for all devices that were current at the time. We'll certainly deliver the iOS 7 jailbreak to the public in a timely fashion, considering the difficulties and complications surrounding the development of a tool that supports a wide range of devices. Now, like I just mentioned, the evaders will hold off on releasing a jailbreak to ensure that it will function on Apple's latest round of iPad models, being the fifth generation iPad and the iPad mini 2. And now this is somewhat diverging from the iOS 7 jailbreak for a second. So earlier this month on the 7th, WinOCM informed his followers that an ETA or estimated time of arrival for his purported iOS 6.1.3 and 6.1.4 jailbreak utility is quote before 2014. Unfortunately, it seems as though the 6.1.3 tool won't be complete before the iOS 7 jailbreak. And moving right along, a few factors come into play when calculating the long development period of WinOCM's alleged jailbreak 6.1.3 utility. Most notably, the fact that the responsibility of coding and testing, for the most part, lies with him alone. Moreover, a jailbreak dream team, so to speak, like the evaders, are more apt to tackle the challenges related to creating a jailbreak, as the members have more experience in the field. Although there isn't an official release time frame for the iOS 7 jailbreak, the tool will likely be issued to the public sometime following Apple's release of the iPad 5 and the iPad mini 2 and preceding WinOCM 6.1.3 tool. Furthermore, the fact that the evaders have gone silent as far as sharing development details with the public is actually a good sign. The team is close and they aren't ready to announce a target release date yet as the new iPads may pose unforeseen difficulties and in turn slightly delaying said target release date. Now, of course, I will keep you guys completely updated here on my YouTube channel on everything related to the upcoming jailbreak, whether it be the iOS 7 and 7.0.2 jailbreak from the evaders or WinOCM supposed 6.1.3 and 6.1.4 jailbreak utility for devices that didn't update to or past iOS 7. And of course, if you guys want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card, just be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And in addition to future jailbreak news and tutorial videos, just be sure to stay tuned for my upcoming Samsung Galaxy S4 versus iPhone 5S video. And as always, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.